Good morning my dear children this is P Vasant Kumar social teacher from DAV high school SDSTPS AP Genco Naltur Welcome to the chapter tanks and ground water third part In the previous sessions we learned explain about tanks and the usage of tanks describe the decline of tanks in our times and know the importance and use of groundwater and describe rocks and groundwater in Andhra Pradesh. Now, learning objectives of this part. By the end of the chapter, you will be able to explain about groundwater recharge, identify the quality of groundwater. Now, let us start. How water recharge in the ground? If there are no trees or grass on the land, then the water flows speedily because there will be no obstruction for the flow. Then water will not percolate into the ground. There will be a great possibility of the water percolating into the soil to join the groundwater if the flow of the rainwater is checked by vegetation or burns. Grasses are planted on the hill slopes from where a stream starts and small check dams also built across streams to store water for a longer time. All these helps to increase or recharge groundwater. Due to the cutting down of forests, the amount of water which percolates into the soil has declined. It causes the rapid fall in the water table or water level by half to 2 meters every year. The groundwater will decrease over time if we draw more than the water that percolates down. During the last few years, we have been left with little groundwater. The rainfall will be only for 3 to 4 months in our country and we depend on groundwater for the rest of the years. Rivers, wells and ponds all get their water from these groundwater sources. That's why my dear children, we have to take steps to increase groundwater. Water flows quickly into the streams and rivers. There will be a great possibility of water percolating into the soil to join the groundwater if the flow of the rainwater is checked by vegetation or burns. Therefore, the vegetation like trees, grasses and burns are used to enhance groundwater. What is water harvesting? Water harvesting means collecting the runoff rainwater and storing it in a pond. It can be used for irrigation the standing crop during the critical periods. This is also known as life-saving irrigation. Major efforts have been taken to harvest from the last few years. The measures were taken for a stream or river which are called watershed development projects. Watershed development has been accepted as a principal national approach and strategy for development of dry land farming. In watershed development, the soil is prepared so as to reduce the velocity of runoff water by changing the angle of the slope of the land. The slowing down of the velocity of the running aware rainwater allows more water to percolate into the subsoil. This is called watershed development project. Under these projects, trees and grasses are planted on the hill slopes from where a stream starts and a small bunts are built across streams to stop the flow of water. To store water for a longer time, small check dams are built across streams. All these measurements help to increase or recharge groundwater. Now, let us learn the quality of groundwater. 
different kinds of minerals are mixed in the ground water because of the minerals which are dissolved in the ground water the taste of the ground water will be salty and sometimes it's sweet what are the reasons these minerals come from the rocks and soil underneath the taste and nature of water changes depending on the minerals which mix with the water there is an excess quantity of minerals like sodium fluoride chloride nitrate iron etc in many regions this water is not good for our health if this water is used for drinking then it may cause diseases which affect our bones teeth etc to avoid this problem the drinking water should be properly treated to remove the excess minerals we also pollute our ground water due to the excessive use of fertilizers and pesticide and poor drainage the water in the wells and rivers become unsafe for drinking or bathing if necessary precautions are not taken to prevent them from getting mixed with the polluted water ground water is the common resource for all the people it is not just for those who have land over aquifers the people who own these land were over using the ground water which ultimately decreased the water table for all neighboring people some of them dig deeper tube wells which cause further decline in the water level as a result the wells go drier if we use the ground water as a common resource and in a restrained manner we can ensure that everyone is able to benefit from them if we not use the water in a restrained manner continuously for a long time then the two wells not have any water left to pump even though it has been dug deeply today's generation has received water from the past as a sacred asset we should give it to the future generation just as we received it we should also develop ways of using and conserving water in a restrained manner otherwise future generations will fight destructive wars over water and we will be responsible for it i hope you understood this lesson in a proper way in the next session we will meet with new chapter thank you